guys so today's video is going to be my favorite spring palettes now i wanted to do this in the winter time but for some reason it slipped my mind i did do my favorite fall palettes but for some reason i forgot to do my favorite winter palettes so we're gonna pick this up again and do my favorite spring palettes for you guys so we're just gonna get right into it and mention my favorite spring palettes that I love using for the springtime so let's jump into ColourPop first because I have a few palettes to mention because of course what would a video be without me mentioning a ColourPop palette but truly they really are my most reached for palettes especially these palettes during this type of year and I want to mention this one first because this one, it's so funny because, you know, I say this in like pretty much every single video that I say, oh, I'm not going to get that palette. And then it ends up becoming one of my favorite palettes in my collection. So the first one is the ColourPop Lehman Cello Palette. I cannot believe that I did skip over this palette initially and then I got it for free with an order and then I fell in love with it and literally this has become probably my most used palette this spring. I also have used it multiple times not in the spring like because I did receive it I think around the end of December because they were giving this one away with a bunch of other palettes and I got this one with the plush like me and this became one of my favorite spring palettes. I just, I can't imagine this not being in my collection now because it's literally my go-to spring palette. And I really want to whip it out again and use it, but I am in the midst of testing out the Star Wars palette, but that's not really a spring palette. But I just think that this palette is literally spring in a palette. It's just such a beautiful color story. I love that it has the neutral shades, but it also has some pops of color. Again, if you really cover these two shades, honestly, it's kind of just a warm tone neutral palette. But you guys know I love those type of palettes in general. Those are always my go-to palettes. And, but since there is the pop of blue in here, and then you have these stunning green and yellow shimmers in here, it just... The formula of this palette, if every single ColourPop palette was this formula, I think everyone would love the brand even more. <laughs> I mean, or for people that aren't fans of the brand, just there's something about the quality of this palette that is just so good. This quality is so much better than in the Powerpuff Girls palette that has the same size pans. It's better than the quality of the All Amethyst palette, which was not a good palette. It just has such a beautiful color story and literally just screams summer to me. Spring and summer, I mean, but especially springtime, like, I just get lemonade, sipping by the, like, pool vibes with this palette, like, just, or, like, walking through a spring garden, or, like, just hanging out outside in your backyard, admiring the flowers and soaking up the sun, and just hearing the birds chirp, like, that's the mood that I get when I... Um, see these colors and again the metallics in here are just stunning and the mattes blend in this palette so beautifully and I love that there's a deepening shade I just love that this blue is in here because honestly it's such a game changer and this was when a lot of people were into blue and yellow those were like the trendy colors and ColourPop just came out with this collection and it's just was just so on trend then I feel like they're kind of falling off right now a little bit. Honestly, their releases this year have kind of been really boring to me. But this was so beautiful. And I cannot believe I skipped over this entire collection except for the brush set, which I use all the time. But I am so happy I had the opportunity to try this palette because any palette for free is amazing. But look at these metallic shades. Like, they are just so stunning I'm not gonna swatch everything in this video or we will be here forever I just wanted to show you how beautiful these are like they're just so pretty and then I'll just swatch the blue for you guys I am a bit tired so sorry if I'm like repeating myself or anything but I did work earlier today and dang it was a slow day today but yeah this palette is beautiful i want to use it all the time in the spring and i cannot wait to use it again it's just one of my favorite go-to palettes if not my go-to palette for the springtime 
right now. I could not wait to whip this out and use it in the spring. And now we are in full force spring here on the uh, East Coast. And I just cannot imagine my collection without this palette now. It really is stunning. So yeah, this is definitely probably my most used spring palette of this season so far. I love it so much. So that is the first ColourPop palette. Then the second one I'm wearing on my eyes today, and I just thought this was such an adorable spring release. It came out at the perfect time, and of course I'm talking about the Disney and ColourPop Winnie the Pooh Sweet As Can Be palette. This is just such an adorable spring palette. I mean, honestly, how can you not think of Winnie the Pooh when you get into the spring weather? I'm really glad that they decided to release this palette during this time. I mean, they usually release a Disney spring release almost every spring now. Like last year, it was Bambi, and this year, it's Winnie the Pooh. I just love these little side collections that they do for, like, the animals and the, um, like, springtime kind of vibes. Like the Bambi palette, the Tinkerbell palette, and now this one. They're just such cute, beautiful collections. I love the shape of this palette. I love the shape of the pans in this palette. And they really just perform easy. And the metallics in here, again, are beautiful. And the mattes blend so easily. They almost have, like, the metallics in here are really, really pretty. I still think the Limoncello ones are better. But these metallics are also very wet and shimmery and buttery smooth. And the mattes blend really nicely. I think that the yellow and the limoncello is a little bit better. Um, but these mattes are very rich and beautiful. And then the yellow and the orange are very pretty as well. So I am wearing this palette today. I have been whipping it out again because it's just such an easy palette to use. The same thing with the limoncello palette. Like for both of these palettes, I don't have to think about my look and like decide what's going to go together or if something can deepen up something. I have it all right here in front of me. This rumbly shade, or well, actually in my tumbly, is such a beautiful deepening shade. So today I'm wearing Think, Think, Think in the crease, and I darkened up the crease more with Pooh Bear, which is that orange, and then I used In My Tumbly on the outer corners. And then I used this metallic green called Honey Tree all over my lid. And then I used Think, Think, Think on the lower lash line. And then I just highlighted the inner corners with Make Believe. This is such a gorgeous gold metallic. And again, you guys know how much I love gold metallics. I just love the packaging and everything. It's so adorable. And I just love this palette. There was no way I could say no to this palette. It's so beautiful. So yeah, I love this palette. And I'm so glad that they decided to do Winnie the Pooh because it's just so adorable. So... I love it. So that is the second palette. It's just so pretty with the greens and the yellows. And again, that makes me think of springtime as orange and yellow and pink and green. Those are like my spring colors. I absolutely love wearing those type of colors during this type of year, as you can tell. I mean, this time of year, not this type of year. Okay, number three is probably the oldest color pop palette I'm going to talk about in this video. And the probably the oldest palette in general in my collection for these spring palettes and but this one is still one of my all-time favorite spring palettes and this is the ColourPop Sweet Talk Pressed Powder Palette. I don't know if this one is available anymore. I think that this is the only one that might not be available anymore out of all the palettes I'm mentioning but it's just such a beautiful palette. The Super Shock kind of got a little bit smashed up so I'm just gonna show it like this if you guys can see. I just love the color story of this palette. I love that there's um, like pinks and peaches and a bit of a gold mustardy shade. And then I love the different formulas of shimmers and metallics and glitters in here. I love that they put a super shock, a couple of true shimmers. And these, these pressed glitters I really love. I honestly don't have a problem with ColourPop's pressed glitter formula. I think they're so pretty. This is the only palette I'm mentioning from ColourPop that does have pressed glitters in it. So if you're not a fan, I don't think you can even get it anymore. But I just wanted to mention that this has been one of my most used, well-loved spring palettes in my collection. Um, I just love that you can get like a beautiful pink look. You can get like a beautiful mustardy look. You can do something a little bit more neutral. I love this deepening color called Feel Free. It's like a plummy brown. 
And then you also have like this warm toned brown called ICYMI. And then Prima Donna, such a gorgeous like multi-dimensional glitter. And then Prim Early Morning, such a beautiful like yellow gold multi-dimensional glitter. And then just everything about this palette screams spring vibes to me. I absolutely love it. Side to side is a beautiful super shock as well. And I think this is the only palette that has a super shock in it too. This was a smash for ColourPop when it came out. This was like one of their first palettes they ever did. I think that this was like my fourth ColourPop palette in my collection. And I went back and forth about it for so long. And I'm so glad I decided to pick it up. Because again, it's one of my most used palettes from ColourPop ever. And I just love it. So... This used to be one of my most go-to ColourPop palettes. I don't use it as much anymore because as you can see, I have like a million ColourPop palettes at this point. But at the time when it came out and also for a couple of years after that, this was always my go-to spring palette. I love it so, so much. So I just wanted to give it a mention again. So that is another one. And then the next one was my most used spring palette last last year of 2021 and this one is the dizzy dizzy it's another disney palette and this is the disney color pop lizzie mcguire palette and this is the what dreams are made of eyeshadow palette so let me just open it up for you guys first off the packaging just screams i'm sorry my family is constantly interrupting me i can't do something for five minutes without something somebody interrupting me I mean, I just gave my mom two hours of my time at dinner, but they got, they need me if they don't see me for an hour, but nobody bothers my brother or my dad, but me, she needs me all the time. It just drives me crazy. So anyway, this is the What Dreams Are Made Of eyeshadow palette. And again, the packaging just screams spring to me because of the tie-dye packaging. And then just the color story just screams spring to me because I love like the peaches, the purples, the pinks, the greens. You can actually do a ton with this palette, and I love that there are these complementary colors in this palette. Um, I love that the green and the orange goes together, the pink and the purple, the pink and the orange, the purple and the green. Like, they really did a good job with this color scheme. The only con about this palette is that you can't really deepen up the looks too much. Besides with the purple or the pink, there's not really any other deepening shades in here. But I think they work so well together that I'm feeling inspired by this color story again. But I also thought it was such a pretty spring palette because it was such an easy palette to wear. Like you just do boom, 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 and you're done. Like I'll just use like these two colors together, put this on the lid and this on the inner corners, and that's it. And when it gets hotter, like you want to do like easier eyeshadow looks. I mean, that's just my preference or people just don't wear eyeshadow at all. But for me, I cannot leave the house without eyeshadow. I just love eyeshadow way too much. Um, but I just thought that this was such an easy palette to use for the springtime. And this is why. And that's why it was one of my favorites of last year. And I just think it's so cute. So this one I definitely love during this time of year as well. So that's why this one, of course, I had to mention. And then I just have one more ColourPop palette to mention. And then we'll get into some other brands. There's not too many palettes in this video because, honestly, I really just wanted to pick out my, op my absolute favorites. And the ones that really scream spring to me. So the last one, I kind of use this whenever I want but honestly it has become one of my favorite spring palettes and the last one is the or kid you not palette this is the only nine pan I'm mentioning in this video because this is really the only one that screams spring and summer fall winter honestly I can use this anytime but honestly I think it's really beautiful for this time of year especially because I just love the um tones in here i love that you can go light to dark i love the mattes that they decided to put in here they're just so rich and beautiful on the eyes and the metallics are so pretty as well um i love that you just have these deeper mattes in here so you can add a lot of depth and dimension to your look and then these metallics are so beautiful on the lid they're just so rich and beautiful with with pigmentation they feel a little rough to the touch 
But seriously, this is one of the best palettes they've ever done. And again, this is one of the palettes I was going to skip over. But just the richness and the pigment is what makes this palette so beautiful. And also, I didn't really have these tones in my collection. And then I realized when I got it, I'm like, wow, I actually added something to my collection and not just buy the ColourPop palettes for the theming and the packaging because honestly 99% of the time that's what sucks me in about ColourPop but this is actually a palette that added something to my collection and it's just beautiful. I think I just used it recently like a week or two ago and it's just so gorgeous and it's just so rich and beautiful so let's just swatch one of the metallics too. They're just so wet looking and beautiful so yeah if you have not tried this palette it was raved about for a reason it's just one of my favorites that they've ever done and the whole the collection as a whole was so beautiful they had blushes they had a highlighter they had lipsticks they had did they have lipsticks actually i can't remember i didn't try any of the lipsticks i have the highlighter one of the blushes and the palette and Oh yeah, I wore them all together like a week or two ago and I, I think that's like one of the first times I ever wore all of them together. Like I think I've only worn the eyeshadow palette with the highlighter and not with the blush. I don't know. It's a thing. I think I was trying out other products at the time. But yeah, this is gorgeous. I love it so much. I cannot rave up enough about this palette. I talk about it a lot, but it really is a stunning spring summer fall whatever you want year round type of palette so that is the last color pop palette i wanted to mention now let's get into a couple of other brands we only have a few more left so the next one i cannot do a spring palettes video without mentioning this palette and this is probably my number one all-time favorite spring palette ever and this is my give me glow vintage rose palette i mean hello how can you not talk about spring palettes without this palette? I mean, literally the packaging is everything that we love about the springtime and literally the color story speaks to itself. These shimmers though, I'm telling you right now and I've said this a million times, but Give Me Glow will give you the best shimmers you will ever try, probably besides Cleona. But if you want to try mind-blowingly amazing shimmers for a more affordable price, I mean, Give Me Glow isn't cheap, but they're not totally super expensive like Cleona. Give Me Glow is where it's at. Also, for me, when I think of spring, my favorite colors to wear are pink and green. I mean, I said yellows and oranges and pinks and warm tones and stuff like that, but when it comes when I, what I like to wear like clothing wise and also eyeshadow wise is pink and green because that's why I got this palette and this was my first Give Me Glow palette in my collection. I only have two Give Me Glow palettes but honestly when they do theming and they do things for like certain times of the year and spring and like seasons, I mean and season type products, <laughs> oh my god I can't speak, they really nail it and these are just so gorgeous and wet looking. Look at that. This color blossom, one of my all-time favorite shimmers ever. And then thorn is just such a gorgeous metallic green. But they are just so blinding. Like look at that next to the color pop. Blossom is one of the most blinding colors ever in existence. It's just so stunning. And that one is thorn. But also, Give Me Glow's mattes are so gorgeous. They blend beautifully. They're super pigmented, and I love them. So, I'm just going to swatch a couple of those, too. So, this one is Rust Rose, and then the next one is Aged Rose Stem. So, this one is Rust Rose, and that one is Aged Rose Stem. Look at how opaque and beautiful those are. I mean, again, if that doesn't scream spring, summer to you... I don't know what does, but I really love whipping out this palette in the springtime. It's just gorgeous. And again, if you haven't tried their formula, you will not be disappointed. There's really nobody that does not like Gimme Glow from what I've seen on YouTube. Really, people have not been disappointed with their brand. Their, their eyeshadows are phenomenal. And 
I cannot wait to try more from them. I've taken a break for quite a while from their products because I was waiting for their blushes to come out. But yeah, this is literally my all-time favorite spring palette. It's just gorgeous. I love wearing the pinks in here by themselves or I do a pink and green look. Or I love the deepening look. Uh, the deepening shade in this palette is just beautiful. I love it so much. So yeah, love that palette too. Okay, then the next one is probably my most recent palette to my collection that's like a spring themed palette and this one is the Odenzai and Angelica Nyquist Hella palette now when I first saw this palette I was like wow if that does not scream spring to me I don't know what does because again it has those pinks and greens in here but this is such whoops that is kind of flaking I don't know why but this is such a stunning spring palette especially for like this time of year like May and June I mean it's just so beautiful like the way that Odin's Eye puts color stories together they are creating some of the most beautiful palettes and I just love the greens in here and I love the pinks and I love that you have like these deepening shades this row makes the palette so unique this kind of reminds me of like a um, like dead garden and then I feel like this is kind of the flowers in bloom and these are like the stems of the flowers it's just so beautiful you can create some gorgeous green looks with this palette and then I really want to put um like a pink and green look together with this palette just like the vintage rose palette but if it comes to a pink and green palette these are my two all-time favorites like Onan's Eye has an incredible eyeshadow formula as well. Their mattes are phenomenal and their shimmers are stunning. Like, Gimme Glow and Onan's Eye, oh my god, so beautiful. So I'm just going to swatch a couple of them for you. And I'm just going to swatch one of the mattes. So that one is Venom, this one is Fluorescence, and this one is Goddess. Just really gorgeous. I'm going to swatch them up here. I'm not going to swatch any other shadows, but I just want to show you guys some of these shades. This one is Venom, this one is Fluorescence, and this one is Goddess. So again, beautiful opaque shadows. You cannot go wrong with Odin's Eye. Their formula is phenomenal, and I really want to whip out this palette again and use it soon because I haven't used it in a little while and it's kind of calling my name. I just wish they would she would have put like one pink shimmer in here to go with the two pinks in here. Then the palette would have been absolutely perfect to me, but the shimmers in here are stunning. Like the the multi-chrome shades like double-sided and river are so gorgeous. So, some really unique finishes. If you want to try different finishes with a amazing matte formula, Odin's Eye is where it's at. Their products and their eyeshadows are just so stunning. So I love this palette. It's so beautiful. And again, pink and green. Like, what more can I ask for? Okay. We're not going to... I just wanted to give the Sigma palette a shout out because this is my go-to neutral palette right now. I'll just show it super quick. But this is honestly a year-round palette for me. But I just wanted to say, especially now... Oh my god, this palette is so stunning. I love it so much. I just think that this is so beautiful, especially for this time of year because of the warm tone neutrals in here. And the finishes of the metallics in here are absolutely stunning. I've been raving about this palette and I freaking love it. But I just wanted to mention it really quick. Like, probably some people won't really think of Sigma as being like a amazing spring palette. Like, but let's get real when you come when it comes to eyeshadows. We all use our spring, our neutral palettes the most. So I just wanted to give that a mention. It's so beautiful. Okay, last two palettes. So this palette I use in the spring and summertime. This has always been one of my favorite spring summer palettes in my collection. I've had this, I think, since like 2019. And it's still one of my go-to favorite palettes in the spring and summer. And this one is the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. This is actually my first Natasha Denona was it my first Natasha Denona palette? Maybe it was my second one. I think the gold palette was my first one. But when she came out with this palette, I just loved the color story even more than the sunset palette. 
So this one is the Sunrise palette, and this is one of my most used palettes in the spring and summertime. It's always one of my go-to palettes because I love the oranges, I love kind of these berry tones, and I love the different finishes and colors of the shimmers. I love this purple. I love these warm tones. Oh my god, these three shades are my favorites in the palette. Day Spring, Agate, and Laurel. They're so stunning and metallic on the lids. And then I just love these warm tone neutrals to go with these pink shades. I mean, honestly, this palette was one of the first palettes that I really learned how to put certain shades together. And it's just beautiful. So I just wanted to mention this one. I think you guys have known what this palette looks like for a long time. Um, but you can't go wrong, again, with Natasha Denona's formula. This is one of the midi palettes, so it's a little bit less expensive. It's like $65. So I would recommend getting this during like one of the VIB sales so you can get 20% off. But it's so gorgeous. And again, it's always been one of my go-tos. I almost wore it today, but I wanted to wear the Winnie the Pooh palette because... I've used this palette so much. I haven't used the Winnie the Pooh palette as much as this palette because I just got the Winnie the Pooh palette like last month. But this one is amazing. It's always one of my go-to spring and summer palettes. Okay, last palette. I don't know why I'm so out of breath tonight. Like, probably because I've been talking all day. So the last one it was kind of such a surprise to me, but I really think of spring and summer when I use this palette and I just love this palette it's so gorgeous so the last one is the Moira always on my mind sweet series palette and this is part of their sweet series and this is just such a beautiful like warm toned like beautiful yellow orange palette and it's just so gorgeous I love the matte options in here I love that you get so many mattes and the shimmers in here are so gorgeous and metallic. I think I wore this like a couple of weeks ago and the mattes are so velvety smooth and blend like a dream and the shimmers in here are so wet and metallic looking. Moira is such an underrated brand. So I just wanted to mention this palette again because it's just so beautiful for this type of year because it has this beautiful, this matte yellow is gorgeous. This orange is beautiful. I love like these peachy tones. I love how you get a bunch of neutral shades that you can put and work into so many looks and there's so many beautiful deepening shades. And then you have this gorgeous gold metallic, which you guys know I love gold metallics. This bron uh, champagne -y color and then like this bronzy shimmer. It's so gorgeous. It's such a beautiful palette and I think it's so flattering for so many different looks and skin tones and I just love it. I think it's just so underrated and it has a phenomenal formula. It's so good. Um, I was just so shocked by this palette because this was really the only palette in my whole collection I never watched a review on and then I got it and I tried it and I was like wow this is amazing. So and I bought it because everybody was talking about the blushes. I was like they were having such a good sale that I decided to try one of the eyeshadow palettes because I was um, admiring this collection. And I'm like, it's amazing. So yeah, that is it, you guys. Those are all my favorite spring palettes in my collection for this time of year. Please let me know what your favorite spring palette is down in the comments below. Or let me know if you tried any of these palettes and what are your thoughts on them. I would love to know. So yeah, that's it. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at CBW819 and check out my Poshmark at the same handle. And I love you guys so much. Bye.